This is a Game Boy iPhone case which I bought on Amazon for $18. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't advise to purchase this thing if you're easily distracted because you may not be able to stop playing with it, but I love this thing. If you've talked to me in the past seven days, I've probably bragged to you a little bit about how freaking awesome this thing is. Now, I ordered this one off Amazon. It was like 20 bucks, and I think there was a discount when I bought it. When I received it, I was a little nervous because this thing looks like it came straight out of a cargo crate from China. It looks kind of like one of those non-branded toys your mom would buy you when she went to the grocery store. Like the non-branded Superman made out of, like, recycled Ziploc bags you press on its head and it caves in. Yeah, this, this gives me those vibes. But uh, classic nostalgic game cell phone case with a QR code. They got screenshots of the games on the sides here. I can't, I literally can't tell what any of those are, except the tennis game. I'm gonna take a sit down here. I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm walking on my way to work. This is next to the yardstick. I really liked the artwork and the graffiti here. Very cool area what Salt Lake is turning into. Lots of hole in the wall, like cafe and eateries. Anyways, as you guys know, I switched to Apple. So this Game Boy case comes for all models of iPhone. This is the SE 2022. So I'm gonna open the Game Boy case now and we're gonna take a look at it. I'm pretty excited for you guys to see. Anyways, let's dig into this. So again, packaging looks kind of scary, but I mean, it's nice. It slides right out. It's a nice fit. It uses the micro USB charger. Not a huge fan, but it works. And it's got this wonderful user manual. Oh my gosh. Now, that's pretty useful. I don't usually read user manuals, but it works. You know, it works. So you take it out and then you got it. It's got this nice little protective film here, which you peel off. <laughs> this case is fat. This thing is thick. I mean, it is a Game Boy. Made in China, of course, as most things are. And it appears that it's going to be an absolute perfect fit. Let's slide this thing in here. Nice. It fits literally perfectly. Let's talk about the controls here. So first, like I said, it's got a micro USB charge port. Not the biggest fan, but it works, right? Starting right here, we've got a rubberized D-pad. Very responsive, works well. And then we've got the A and B buttons. We've got the on-off switch, the reset switch, the pause, and the sound buttons. All work very well. The volume up, down work well, and the silent switch has space. And baby, look at this. That is your iPhone case. There does need to be a bumper right here. There's nothing to raise the glass screen when it's face down. That's also kind of defeats the purpose of having a case. Now, when you initially power the case on, it brings you to this gross, ugly screen. It says like English and there's no options. You just press start. Once you press start, it brings you to the screen where you have 36 games, a 36 game library to choose from. I'm gonna scroll through here shortly so you can see it. And there's a bunch of classics in here. There's Donkey Kong, there's Super Mario Brothers, as well as a few more. But there's no freaking internal storage, so you can't really save a game, which is horrible, because you don't want to start playing Super Mario Brothers at World 1 Level 1 every single freaking time. But it is still super fun to tinker with when you have a few extra minutes. I've had an absolute blast. So here's Super Mario Brothers with me playing. It's really, really easy to play. There's not a lag or buffer in controller use. It's super responsive and you're able to play super easily. So this is a zoomed out view just to show you how big it is in my hands. And yeah, I go along and I beat the entire level. And because you play this level, anytime you play Super Mario Brothers, you're gonna become really dang good at it because every time you play it, you're gonna be playing in World 1 Level 1. But yeah, I think the gameplay for this is freaking awesome. It's super responsive. There's no lag. Um, I don't think it would be hard to modify this so you could have like a, sa a save game feature. I don't think that would be very hard at all. Now, one other thing with Super Mario Brothers as you play is the controllers are switched. So you can see where I jump. I think I'm pressing A and B is the sprint. So that's a little hard to get used to. But like I said, I'll take it. 
For 20 bucks, I've got a playable iPhone case. This is the coolest One thing One other ever. thing to note is the screen has a backlight. So you can play this in the dark. You don't have to be in sunlight, which is really cool. Now, another one of my favorites is Pac-Man. I really suck at Pac-Man, but the controls are responsive. It's easy to play, and Pac-Man is just one of those games that you could pick up at any time. And you're going to have to start at level 1 no matter what. So it's not like you need a save game feature enabled. You're just gonna start from level one every time. Also, the main screen elevator music is kind of annoying. Listen, it's like this generic sound, it sucks. Uh, but this is, an, a, the game is called Olympic. I've never played this, but the concept is super cool. You just press A and B and that's how you sprint. I'm the bottom guy. I thought I was freaking dominating, but I think I lost by a butt whisker. Anyways, my nieces and nephews would love these games. Another one is Sky Destroyer, which is like got some cool perspective because you're this airplane flying through the sky and like shooting other airplanes down. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, it, it's a cool concept. I'll be quiet and let you watch for a little bit of what the gameplay looks like, but I think you get it. Another favorite of mine is Mario Bros. Also, my camera is not giving justice to the screen resolution. I'm not saying that this is like high res gaming, but I am saying that it has a backlight and it's very clear. There it's are a few downsides pixelated. like the charge port as well as the bezels that don't exist on the front side to protect the screen. But this is my primary phone case and I will continue to use this. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and subscribe. See you next time.